Dear students, today I am going to tell you about the new syllabus for SIDC physics. This syllabus is according to choice based credit system that is CBCS. This is third semester and I am going to teach you physics paper first. The subject code of this paper is PHY231. Subject title is Mathematical Methods in Physics. To complete a whole syllabus, we required total 36 lecture and we will get 2 credits. Learning outcomes of this syllabus, after the completion of this course, students will be able, students will able to understand the complex algebra useful in physics, understand the concept of partial differentiation, understand the role of partial differential equation in physics, understood how vector algebra is useful in physics, understand the concept of singular points of differential equation. In this paper, the first chapter is complex number. Here, first point of this chapter is introduction to complex numbers. Second point is rectangular, polar and exponential terms of the complex numbers. Third point is Argand diagram. Then algebra of complex numbers using Argand diagram. Then one is statements of D Moser's theorem. After the point six or number six, power, roots, and log of complex numbers. Then trigonometric, hyperbolic, and exponential functions. And last application of complex numbers to determine the velocity and acceleration in curve motion. And after completion of all these points, we have to see the problems regarding to complex numbers. In chapter number 2, partial differentiation. In this chapter, first point is partial differentiation. Uh, I think this is already done by you or you already know what is the differentiation, partial differentiation. The second one is successive differentiation, total differentiation, then third actual differentiation, then chain rule. Point number six of the chapter is theorem of differentiations. There are two theorems, theorem first and theorem second, which is helpful to understand the problems in physics. Then change of variables from Cartesian to polar coordinates. Point number 8, conditions for maxima and minima. Here we have to see the conditions for maxima and minima without proof. And after completion of these 8 points, we have to solve the problems regarding partial differentiation equation. Then chapter number 3, vector algebra and vector analysis. Students, we know that this is the very important concept in physics. Many proper, many Fundamental properties of physics or quantities, fundamental quantities of physics are scalars and vectors. So, in order to see which properties or identities or quantities are vectors and scalars, this chapter is useful. Here, we have to see the division of introduction of scalars and vectors, dot product and cross product of two vectors and their physical significance. All this comes in revisions. Then actual part of this chapter is scalar triple product and its geometrical interpretation. Next point is vector triple product and its proof. That is vector triple product and its geometrical interpretation. Then we have to see the scalar and vector fields. After then we have to see the differentiation of vectors with respect to scalars. And then very important point, vector differential operator and Laplacian operator. These operators are very important in order to understand the vector algebra and vector analysis. Then gradient of scalar and its physical significance, divergence of vector, scalar field and its physical significance, then curl of vector field and its physical significance. All these three points are very important in order to, in order to understand the vector algebra and vector analysis. Then we have to see some important vector identities. There are near about seven vector identities 
which are very, very useful in physics and after completion of all these points we have to see the problems then last chapter of this paper is differential equation in this chapter we have to see the degree of differential equation order of differential equation linearity of differential equation homogeneity of differential equation and then concept of singular points in this point examples of singular points of differential equation is also important and after the problems i think all these points are introductory in a fyb mathematics mathematics syllabus and before that in 12th standard then we have to follow some reference book in order to study all these chapters there are four chapters which covers 36 lectures and after completion of this syllabus we will get two credit i'm going to tell, uh, tell you some reference books methods methods of mathematical physics which is written by lord akavale and gambir then second reference book is mathematical physics which is very popular and this book is written by bd gupta third reference book is mathematical physics which is written by rajput and gupta which is also very important and very popular book then next reference book is mathematical method in physical science which is written by mary and bos there are more reference books which are also useful in order in uh, studying this uh, syllabus vector analysis by seigel and mary mathematical methods for physicist by a weber and uh, here fifth edition is very useful in fundamental of mathematical physics this book is written by ab gupta which is also useful in order to study this paper then last reference book is vector analysis which is written by simon yell and dennis spenman thank you